Let's discuss the matter with the former chief legal counsel to the U.S. Trade Representative Office, Warren Maruyama. Mr. Maruyama stepped down just last year after serving in that position from 2007 through 2009. As general counsel, he played a key role involving WTO and FTA disputes. He's also served as acting deputy USTR for China. Mr. Maruyama, good to have you on the program. What do you make of Google's request to take its dispute with China to the WTO? Does it have any merit at all? Well, it's unclear how much merit there is. Um, censorship, per se, is not a violation of the WTO rules. So Google would have to show that China's censorship requirements violate some other provision of the WTO. It possibly could be done, but, uh, you know, so far it's unclear exactly what their legal theory would be. Uh, during an interview with uh, Bloomberg Radio on February 23rd, the current U.S. Trade Representative Ron Kirk called the matter less of a trade issue than it is a freedom of information issue. Sounds like the outcome for Google has already been decided, doesn't it? Um, I'm not exactly sure what I would read into those words. I think um, ultimately uh, this does boil down to a difference in values um, and views over censorship and um, our very strong commitment in the United States to the First Amendment. But, you know, I think China and the Chinese leadership see censorship as a key element of political stability, and I doubt they're inclined to change it anytime soon. Are there any precedents for a case such as this one? Anything we can go by? Well, during the Bush administration, USTR successfully challenged certain aspects of China's censorship regime, regime in, in two WTO cases. One involved Xinhua and was settled very quickly with China basically agreeing to drop certain um, restrictions on uh, financial information service providers, including, I would note, Bloomberg. And um, there was a second case uh, involving a U.S. challenge to China's restrictions on trading rights and distribution rights for copyright-intensive products. And this case uh, was litigated in front of a panel, and um, we won, and that was sustained by the appellate body. But the key in both cases was that USDR had a very strong case that China was violating specific provisions of its WTO accession protocol or that it was Mm -hmm. applying its censorship requirements in a way that right. violated GATT or GATT's rules. Okay, Warren Maruyama, former chief legal counsel to the U.S. Trade Representative Office, thank you so much for your insights today.